Okay, a good delicious combination is I guess wild butter. I'm afraid of regular peanut butter unless if I can use a machine to make it. The polenta and then jelly. I also have bread, but um, this polenta goes pretty good with peanut butter and jelly, so I'll stick with it. Okay, I am amazed how hot it feels right now. It feels like it's in the 80s in my car. And I'm wondering if I'm moving too far south too fast in November. <laughs> it's November. I guess it probably gets chilly at night, but this heat is... In the daytime, the sun is <clears throat> really strong. Uh, it's nice to be able to stunt the decline of my savings for a little bit here with the help of Snap. I don't see any language about people calling this sunny salt lake, but it really gets sunny here. And up on the yellow brick thing is like a trail or something. I saw people walking up there. <laughs> I didn't think you could walk up there. Sunny Salt Lake. Sunny Salt Lake, Sunny San Diego. You probably get about the same amount of sun. Okay, so this is Zion's Bank, and I see an interesting sign that's, oh, I gotta point it against the sun a little bit there, okay. Commercial business transactions use lane one. Okay, coming up. Uh, oh, okay, the, the lanes aren't marked because they're, they're using uh, electronics and they're, yeah, they don't even say open or close. You know, I don't even see where it says which lanes are which. That sign's a little confusing. I'm sure people with experience here know what it's about, though. The line is so long at in and out they actually have somebody walking out and greeting the cars. This is a long line. This white car is the end. It's a long enough line at Chick fil A's. So McDonald's is probably really busy. I don't see anybody in line from this angle. Uh, this is where the drive-through begins. Oh, somebody's driving backwards through it. Oh, and they're wrapping around. I actually thought the Farmington uh, McDonald's is fancy, but look at this. I can I can plug in for electricity right there. This is some outside gazebo with music. Gay stop. That's a thing, right? Yeah, probably not. How to tell that you're in a large city. So there's a toll booth in the left lane. HOV toll, two plus or toll. So I think I got by, got by that toll booth, I guess. Just taking a regular city street. Oh wait. Oh no, the toll, toll is ahead for 25 cents. Toll to... 600 north is 25 cents. So, I don't want to be on the highway. Or the, the freeway. Yeah. Toll is up ahead that way. Really appreciate lower gears for fast breakaways in these big cities. I gotta keep it in a low gear for much of the big city because it's just so crazy. Anywhere I wanna cross the street or uh, approaching traffic, whatever. It's just, you gotta be prepared for fast breakaways. And the best way is just to keep it in a low gear. Out here, I'm a little more on the outskirts it looks like, so I can go up, I'll go up a gear or two. 
don't have to worry about fast breakaways getting across the street fast or oh my goodness yeah all right based on my experience i think you i'd i'd give utah the award for having the worst driveways it's just such a nasty bump when you get off the road and pull into this driveway and it's mostly been in utah i've never noticed it anywhere else yet okay so this is the road leading up to uh, the the landfill and i got this warning so it's it's uh, pretty serious. They might have had problems in the past. I've never seen anything like this. It's a ways down and I'll probably turn before it, but there's a landfill down this road. I will be coming up upon the landfill. So access is coming up and that off in the distance is actually the landfill. You can see that they've um, uh, piled up a wall of sand and dirt and then uh, you can see the, the landfill is starting to get above that that uh, mound so I don't know if that's a measuring stick or whatever so this this might be a major landfill for Salt Lake possibly <clears throat> looks like they're preparing a fresh section for more room in the landfill they're doing a bunch of plowing and this isn't too far from the wa the waterfall protection area. The, the government really likes to do that a lot. It's put dangerous things next to the natural protection areas. I've seen that done with oil refineries in Washington. And this, <laughs> can't think of any other examples. Talk about the landfill that's nearby this watershed and how that interacts with it. How the birds bring the garbage from the gar from the landfill over to the the water preservation. I don't doubt that happens. I'm making that up, but I don't doubt it happens. Well, I feel a little bit better about taking uh, more remote trips because I got my second bottle of water here. I held off on buying that that second bottle, so now I have one in my bag, my main one, and then these two plastic bottles and going out beyond the city limits now is a little easier I don't have to worry about uh, running out of water right away birds really congregate strongly around here and it makes me suspect that they're getting fed by that landfill but I'm not sure about that so this there's fishing <laughs> not far from the landfill so I guess that's pretty this lands of landfill is pretty safe because the population is there's quite a few people out here Somebody said on Google Maps that this area is overhunted. I'll say it's overfished. Every possible cubby hole has a fisherman. Oh, except for that one. If you're gonna fish out here, it's only for sport. Two fish? And there's a dog in the water. What a weird bird. Right over here I can start smelling the trash. And when you enter this uh, lake park with all the rules, no camping, no fires. <laughs> of course, with that smell in the air, that could be flammable. It's kind of nasty. And it's pretty, it's somewhat faint, but it's definitely there. How many hunters destroyed power lines trying to shoot birds off the wire and hitting the wire? That'd be interesting. This landfill is only for bountiful residents. Bountiful residents only. Unacceptable. Yeah. 
cash, oh, you gotta pay. Children, remain inside at all times. Oh, oh, I see. They, they do random stuff. Looks like they jacked up some tanker. And I guess it sits there for long periods of time then. <clears throat> if they can get away with doing that. So it's closed right now. They got trucks and there's bird nests in each of these little toy things. At least birds are bringing their, their straw in. And then since this is closed, there's, there's a lot of birds. There's clouds of birds out there eating good. <laughs> there's just all kinds of birds around here eating at the dump and hanging out at their natural preservation area. What a life. Yeah, you might be able to hear them. Oh my god, there's a huge cloud of birds off in the distance. They practically block the view of the mountain. And they're moving in such a mass migration. That's like... Like over, that's like 10,000 birds all together in unison. I've seen clouds of birds in, in the farmlands. You know, they're probably like eating all that, um, whatever you call it, uh, farm stuff. Oh, they broke off a little bit. <laughs> that is crazy. Birds love this type of area done some weird job of packing mud along the shore edge here. I don't quite understand. It's a weird, weird setup. I guess it works, right? These are the closest rose hips yet that I've ever seen um, to uh, what I can, what I buy that's, uh, that's uh, like uh, preserved, that's, that's dried. They got a kind of a slight sweet taste and they have a, uh, a uh, what is it, a pectin? So it's, it's pretty nice, almost like a tomato, but definitely not. Highest, best source of vitamin C you can find out here. Also to properly test them out, you might want to squeeze them a little bit. If they give, if they're soft, then they're probably good. I've, I've uh, come across some hard ones. So I've been eating quite a few of them now. With no ill effects. So these are it. These are actually the ones that you can buy in the, in the, in the store. Good stuff. I'm a little scared of this area, even though it says waterfall management area. It's more of a, more of a, like a bird hunting area. I thought there would be controlling hunting, but I hear f shots being fired and all kinds of stuff. So hunters are set up on edges around here somewhere. And, oh, I gotta be cautious. There's a shotgun. Got shotgun shells all over, dog poop. They're having a lot of fun. <clears throat> so there's like uh, the hunters didn't trail, didn't walk too far from their vehicles. <laughs> uh, there's like eight of them when I cross the bridge. I don't see any more. If you have to walk, you know, nobody wants to put in a lot of effort. I see there's bicycle marks. I bet some hunters took bicycles out here. Ducks know to stay out of sight from a very far distance. I saw a bunch. There's more off in the distance over there. I don't know how the hunting regulations go, but ducks are definitely scared for their lives from long distances. So this isn't an exactly, they call it a management area, a wildlife or a bird management area. It's definitely not a great place for viewing birds because they're scared for their lives. <clears throat> Ooh, 
Yeah. Shotgun shells. There's been <laughs> slaughter. <clears throat> Swampy. Dude, there's a big difference between the waterfall on that fishing lake, which this area you're not allowed to fish, and this this uh, swampy area. They're not. They come. They well. They get closer to you. They let you approach them closer at the fishing lake, but here they keep a big dif distance. So they got it in their little minds. They know. They know what areas are safe and what areas are not. I heard a double blast off in the distance. I don't know if that was an echo or two guys shooting at once. Oh, I took another shot. Gotta make sure they're dead. I mean, you think the ducks would have scattered on the double shot pretty quickly so whatever they're shooting at the second time within within less than a minute shotgun shells these hunters don't pick up after themselves <clears throat> so it's just vast acres of of swampland Cattail is past its due, settled in for the winter. Actually, there's new growth right there. <laughs> there's new growth all over the place. Hmm. Yeah, this is a pretty nice trail for bicycling. Oh, there's a dead end though. No trespassing. Because what would I be trespassing on? Somebody's personal property? <laughs> the gate wide open? You think they would want to stop you from entering by closing that gate, but that's not their choice. I don't know what to think of this. There's no other way around. All right, I think the view is pretty interesting, um, but gosh, I don't, I don't know if I want to go down any further. I don't know what to expect. There's that should be Antelope Island over there in the distance that big ridge. I think I'll just take a peek over here. See they got two bridges from what I counted so far. Very sturdy. One yeah you can't really see it down there. Oh man this is there's not much of a trail over here. Okay it's happened twice now. I've had hunters just not be aware of their where their guns are pointed as I pass them. It's happened twice. I've had to like kind of duck when one guy had his gun kind of pointed at a, towards my head as I was passing by, and then another. Uh, I was gonna pass on his on on my on the right hand side, but his gun was pointed that side, so I went to this this side, this left side, to get around him, and it looked kind of weird. And he just kind of walked by unaware. I don't think these guys got hunter safety in Utah. Fresh rose hips are the best tasting tart type of food, tart tasting food I've ever had that's natural. So while the duck hunters gear up for hunting ducks, I settle with rose hips. That's fine enough for me. All right, so I guess I'm gonna try to get over to that bountiful library just to scout ahead. Possibly for tomorrow. Might just try to get over there tomorrow. See what it's like today. See if there's where the spots are that I could sleep overnight. Okay, straight ahead for Bonifal. And I'm climbing a hill. Salt Lake. To the right. Trying to get to that library. Even though it's closed. If you didn't think there was enough shopping in Ogden or anywhere south of that, uh, like mid middle 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 point or farming Farmington, 
Uh, you can, oh wait, this is Centerville, right? Yeah, no, no, this is Bountiful. You can always come to Bountiful and find a whole bunch more shopping areas. This place is packed. There's just, there's like just shopping stations, of just magnet, huge magnitude. It really shows that Salt Lake City is definitely populated with two million people, like it says. Looks like uh, Temple and Bountiful is confident that that part of the hill is not gonna have a landslide because they're pretty high up. They're, oh, they're at Bount in Bountiful, they push the limits of the hill. That'll be interesting to see how that lasts.